My next huge project is to fix salt and peppers enclosure. I know I've been saying this for a while, I've been putting it up, but I have an idea. Basically what we have to do is we have to peel back the skin right here, cut a couple slots in the wood right here so that we can spacers put spacers in here that hold the bottom up because this wood is starting to rot because all the water, and then we need to epoxy it all in here. But salt is gonna go on a little adventure today. And my girl Salt is actually gonna go to the pond at the new aquarium, and get a little swim, and guess who's gonna swim with her? We couldn't tell. What do you say we head across the street? Oh, okay. no alligator, guys. <laughs> You were just talking about them too. Oh, this is my first time ever petting out with Barney. Only at the Reptarium. You always wonder what people are thinking when they drive by and they see us with an alligator or a sloth walking around or something like that. They think, I think like, what are these people doing? Are you gonna let her walk across the street? No, no, no. <laughs> so the pond isn't going right now, just the actual wetland filter is going to keep filtration going, but the urns aren't going, the waterfall's not going. It's about electricity that we're gonna get put out here in the next couple weeks. But it looks really cool, and I think that Salt is gonna absolutely love it here. This is the first time Salt is seeing her new place where she's gonna live the rest of her life. Salty, what do you think about all this? Take a look over here. <laughs> Take a look over here. You wanna go swimming, baby? So I have no idea where she's gonna go, but it's gonna be pretty cool to see it. So I'm gonna set her down right in here. And we're gonna go ahead and let her swim around, whatever she wants to do. Oh my gosh, she looks wow, cool. Salty. Maybe we should keep her in here full time. Good job, so Salty. Awesome, good girl, Salty. Come on, keep swimming. I didn't think she loves it. Oh, don't, could you imagine if the waterfall was going? Oh my gosh, I wonder if we should do this every now and then, like on a Sunday afternoon or something like that. Actually bring the alligators out and let them crawl around. Oh there. my God, look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so awesome. <laughs> so strong. I think she just likes it outside. Probably feels like she's at the beach. Oh my god, it's so awesome. It's pretty cool that salt was the first animal that is actually in our beautiful pond that Aquascape built us. Thank you guys, by the way, for doing that for us. Of course, we're not going to have alligators in here or turtles or anything like that, but we are going to have some koi fish in here. Like I said, it might be kind of cool. Careful, Jay. He went and poked her head and she came back But we him. can occasionally bring animals out here and let them swim around. I think it's going to be really cool to do that. This is cool. I love this pond so much. I can't wait till it's full time running. As soon as we get electricity out here, it's going to be full time. It's going to be absolutely incredible. Then we can do some landscaping. Cool. Look at salt. I mean, she is just loving it out here. I'm so excited to see some more animals in here. Found my uh, my new office space. You gotta bring extra shorts every day. I already called this office space, Mike. But it's big enough for the both of us. Look at her go. Oh, salty. Come on, big girl. Good girl, salty. It's so cool to see you interact with all the new stuff. You know, I'm sure the smells are amazing and sand. Like, did you want to go swimming? You know, I forgot shorts. Well, that was absolutely incredible to see her swim in the pond. It does have a little algae in here, so she's got a little algae on her here, so I think we're gonna have to take her back and get her cleaned up a little bit. Sir, wow, Salty, you did so good in that. Well, bye-bye, pond, see you later, alligator. <laughs> good job, guys. Salty, did you like swimming? Do you wanna swim again? Can you teach me how to swim? From one albino alligator to another albino alligator, of course, Freya is a little bit more feisty. And she's definitely a lot smaller than Salt. She's chilling out a lot. I mean, she's going to get better and better. Is she ever going to be as cool as Salt? I'm not 100% sure. Still a little bit wiggly and stuff like that. But she is absolutely amazing. And you know what else is amazing? You guys have to come to Animal Con USA. It's in Orlando, Florida, September 15th through the 17th. All your favorite craters. About 150 craters from around the world. Animal craters that you from love. From Chandler to Kevin McCurley to Tyler Nolan to Paul Cafaro to the list goes on and on. Doc their plans. I mean, so many amazing people that I love to watch every single day. And I'm going to have a great time hanging out with them. And you can come meet me as well down there too. Again, September 15th through the 17th in Orlando, Florida. AnimalConUSA.com. Link in the description. Get your tickets now. You will not want to miss it. First, can we play the game, Mike? Pick a number between one. You shoot me with that host. Pick a number between one and six. Oh, that's not fair. Pick a number. Between one and six. One and six. Three. One, two, oh, no, three. no, no. We got lucky. It was only cone. It's chilly. So we're just giving Salty a little wash down now because she was in the pond with all that algae. Look at her. Get her feet, get her belly, <laughs> get Jay's fingers. Oh, there's not so much standing right there. <laughs> Blasting him. Let me take a shower. Oh! Oh! oh. Mike! <laughs> Sorry, what happened? <laughs> Nothing. Mike, okay. Your feet are already wet. I'm just washing you off. But I you had algae on your toe. Yeah, but it's gone. My bad. 
Mike, I'm <laughs> literally picking up an alligator. Stop. I sneeze, dude. Put the hose down. Okay. <laughs> so in case you guys didn't know, we actually have a lot of calming tech. What's the word I'm looking for? Techniques. Calming techniques. So all we have to do is give her a little. Real quick, can I get her belly? And just like that, she's calm. Dude, our gator is good. Okay, we are all set. Just get my whole arm, make it look good, cause I got muscles now, so it looks really good. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's a good one. Take a look at this, guys. These are so absolutely incredible. These are actually T negative albino house snakes. I absolutely love these things. And this little hypo right here. So these could actually be sun glow as well. They could be hypo albinos too. But we have two little albino house snakes and one little hypo het for albino house snake. It's actually an albino house snake bred to a hypo het for albino house snake. So that's pretty cool. Absolutely wonderful. I always say house snakes are some of the most underrated snakes in my opinion. If you want a pet snake, I tell you what, everyone thinks that, you know, get a corn snake, get a ball pipe. I don't disagree. Absolutely amazing ball pythons, corn snakes, king snakes. But don't sleep on house snakes. They're absolutely amazing animals. Can make great pets. And these guys are adorable. You know, and it's crazy to be. As things are changing, you know, these all used to be racks that were filled up with colubrids. Obviously, we have the colubrid room down in the basement now. But these racks are all going. We still have some racks for sale, by the way. Shoebox racks, baby racks, take-along racks. Little tiny babies and stuff like that. But this all has to kind of go, you know. Again, we'll have about 10%, maybe 20% of the racks will stay here. Because, again, we want to build this back area into more holding for mammals and big lizards and stuff like that. For educational stuff so that when we're across the street, we have plenty of educational animals on staff. We also wanted to build a couple more offices here because we're continuing to Girl. It's so cool to see this right here. I mean, you know, you got obviously Hobby right here. Dids enclosure over here. We're gonna do this whole bank of this wall. It's gonna be these cages, which is gonna be really cool, just for a couple more mammals. And then there won't be any more mammals. There'll only be four mammals. There's an overflow for this place. And then once they move over to the aquarium, maybe we'll get some here for education. I'm not 100% sure. We've been talking about a lot of things, but it's just weird how it's always evolving, right? BHB and all my companies have always been in this constant <laughs> evolutionary state. And it's weird, you know, it was cool when this place was full of snakes and lizards and stuff like that. Now it's cool to see it kind of evolving into something different. We're gonna still have plenty of snakes and lizards for a long, long time. But it is cool to see the place kind of changing and evolving into a vision. That's kind of the same thing that's evolving over at the aquarium. Hurry, dude. I'm not done. I still gotta get it. Yeah, go get it. I'm getting it. She's on one today, which I'm, it's normal. Today she's really trying to get me. And I don't like it. Chugging out, just give him some fresh water anyway. I love guys. Who does it? <laughs> Doggy, look at that snake right there. Wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on the sunsets that we hatched out. They've now shed and eaten a few times and look at the orange and the size. Look at this orange right here in the side. Unbelievable. I forgot how pretty sunsets were when they were babies. I mean, they are absolute stunners. Again, we produced the first one so many years ago and then this is the first time we produced them in so many years. It's just really amazing. I mean, it is cool to see them and I just am excited to get into this project again, start breeding into other stuff, seeing what we can do in the future. So many people are doing such incredible things with the sunset and because we pioneered them we certainly should be involved in that so i've got to get back on my horse and get this thing into some mutations because wow is that absolutely stunning speaking of stunning we actually have a couple raise up snakes that are ridiculous i want to share with you too and look at some of these razors from last year looking incredible this is actually a super orange ring fire leopard eyeball ball python unbelievable i mean look at the color and pattern on that animal and this is a boy so he's pretty much going to be ready to breed next year and the thing that's so cool because all these mutations are mainly in complete dominant. I can breed it to like say a giant pie. I've got a couple of pies that lay 10, 12 eggs. And literally some of the babies are going to come out just like this. Well, not the super orange dream, but the orange dream. Everything's going to be orange dream. Everything's going to be pie. And then there's going to be combinations of the fire and the leopard and all the other stuff. This one's a rip. And then here's another pie that's ready to breed. This is actually a super orange dream, yellow belly, leopard, and she pied. I mean, look at that. The and she really does a number on the head stamp. It's super cool. And I just love the pattern. Just really beautiful high white. So we got a couple of pies are coming up that are absolutely incredible and actually another pie that I think is a ripper as well. Boy, that last two rabbits she ate, man, she gained 20 pounds. Mike, you want to go swimming? I so don't think those will fit me. Do you want to go swimming? I kind of want to go swimming. Do you want to go swimming again? Do you want to go swimming with me? I can't. 
and that's this black pastel black head piebald ball python look at these dots that have kind of come in these weren't like this when they were baby you guys know that i love contrast i love dark and light animals that go together so this is probably one of my favorite pies that i have i love the fact that it's not really black but really dark brown it's got a bunch of black spots on it but then it's got that stark white next to it man i tell you what next year's pie year is going to be absolutely ridiculous and take a look at this one we're actually calling this a smoke ball python uh, again not sure what the genetics are going to be on this is something that popped up on us last year raised it up and it's just absolutely ridiculous i mean look at the white on the side the dark patterning it's like a smoke right again don't know if it's going to be recessive don't know if it's going to be co-dominant or incomplete dominant don't even know if it's going to be genetic at all we have no idea but it's a project that definitely is worth messing with just look at the contrast on that wow this is incredible of course this is blaze a little update with you guys the shores pure red argentine albino that my buddy brandon actually gave us absolutely incredible he's a little bit feisty not gonna lie he loves to run and stuff like that and it's the thing these guys are only third generation out of the wild the more you get more f generations you get out of the wild the calmer things get so a lot of stuff like the blues and the reds that we see now you know they're five six seven generations bred out of the wild so they become more and more docile the fact that the albinos were only three generations out just make them a little bit harder to tame down but we'll get this guy habituated no doubt about it just handling them every single day eating like an absolute pig and an absolute beauty you can see it's starting to go into shed right now when this thing sheds out oh doggy is it going to be yeah. beautiful it's nice to take salt over to the pond we'll definitely take some more animals over there it's going to be incredible and the next thing i have to i know i keep saying this is i have to fix this little monkey's enclosure so it doesn't leak and get the waterfall back on so that is the next big project and i'm going to get started maybe even tomorrow hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos you can also hit that subscription button it would mean a lot to me also hit that like button while you're down there have a wonderful day reptile army remember maybe we should keep her in here full time hey look at this one yeah it's good don't high five me or anything i don't want to break your arm i know <laughs>